uh, as we discussed uh, in the first class about the basics of writing, that is followed by the types of writing, and then the marking criteria. So now we can see there that the types of letter we will be discussing about the types of letters. Right? Uh, we discussed about the types of letter, and yesterday we discussed about the uh, discharge letter, and have given you the home task as a request letter. So we will be discussing about the request letter in class today. Mostly in the letter of request, we being a healthcare professional from our profession, let's say doctor, will be writing this letter to the non-doctor person. Similarly, if you being a nurse, you being writing this letter to the most probably non-nurse person. It could be a letter of request. For the sake of example, if you are writing this letter, whoever is writing this letter to a physiotherapist, right? If you are writing this letter to a physiotherapist, to maybe occupational therapist, right? To maybe a social worker, and so on. So these are a uh, few types of letter that one can write it down over here. Maybe to a physiotherapist, occupational service, and social worker, right? Anyhow, so you can see there that these are the major, uh, you can say, types of uh, request letter that one can be having over here. Is it clear? So now let's say in a letter of request, most of the time there is a specific reason. For request, and it could be most of the time maybe the home visits or the provision of some services. Let's say for the physiotherapist, you are going to request the physiotherapist, physiotherapist services. For the occupation therapist, you are requesting to the occupation therapist to the for the occupation therapy, and so on. So let's say. In any case uh, of request, your reason of writing should be specific. Reason of writing should be specific. So, whatever the reason of writing is. So, right now, if you can see there, let's say I'm going to discuss a case with you that I will be displaying in front of you after a moment. If we are writing this letter of request to the palliative care nurse, even if doctor is writing this letter or if a nurse is writing this letter to a nurse, it would be same. The reason of referral is maybe the provision of palliative care. The reason of referral is the provision of palliative care, right? So, we do see the case in this form. Maybe we have the name of the patient. For example, you can see the case note hardly. We do have the age or date of birth, maybe. You can see the profession, right? You can see the maybe uh, BMI. You can see the past medical history and so on. So, if this is the case, we are going to see now. We are writing this letter to the palliative care nurse, right? So, who is the audience to whom we are writing this letter is the palliative care nurse, right? This is the main concern that we are writing this letter for. And what is our demand? Further assistance and care. We are writing this letter for further assistance and care. Right now, this is the discharge plan that has to be followed. Maybe we have home visit, diet management, and postural care and activities of pair gathering. With reference to that plan, we'll select the case not from top to bottom. So, we have a patient named as Jennifer Harley. Let's say his date of birth is important, height, weight is important, 
and then we have BMI. Now BMI is important point. This is the today's date that has been written. The patient is a retired teacher, live with her husband. It's important point. Married three children important for psychological support. Non-smoker, no drinker important. Substance intake important negative. Seafood allergies important. You can see that the mother is diabetic, hyperglycemia history, hypertension, uh, maternal and uh, history, and you can say grandfather, grandmother. So all these things are irrelevant. You are not supposed to write down these things. Then we can see that chicken pox and mumps, you know, like this is irrelevant. Diabetes history is relevant, right? Person, personal history of diabetes is relevant. Okay. Then the this history is basically your irrelevant, irre but we should not expand them because it's first of all you are writing this letter to the terminus, sorry, to the palliative care nurse, and the patient is at the terminal state of cancer. So in this regard, we should not be expanding this thing that once she was diagnosed and what has been done and so on. Then we have the discussion part. We will write it down, and the challenge that you would face is to expand the case notes for example we have to instruct the nurse that she has to read these things so we have to expand this thing so i'll show you in a moment that how would you do that that how can we write it down i uh, have displayed the case in front of you and share in the group as well so let's say on the top left corner you can write the date whatever the date was written with the bmi let's say i don't know for example so, this is the date that we can say is the today's date on which we are writing the letter. Okay, that is written in the front of VMI. Leaving one line. Then we have palliative care nurse to whom we are writing this letter. P, C, N should be capital. Right. Afterward, we have district nursing center. And then we have the address, let's say, maybe Victoria. And if the postal code is given, so we can write it down about the postal code as well. Afterward, you have to leave one line and write it down. Afterward, we have to leave one line and then we can write down RE stand for regarding. Then the patient name. Put comma and write down the date of birth if it's given. Like I will write it down over here, date of birth, but you should write it down over here, whatever date is given. Let's say 2 7 1960. You should write it down that thing. After writing the date of birth, you can leave one line Dear nurse, comma. And now if the address is being given of the patient, in home referral or after discharge, you can write down the address of the patient over here, including his and uh, her address, including next of kin as well. Patient and next of kin address, both can be written over here if it's given. If not, then we should leave it blank with the same format as you have written this address. Then afterward, you can leave one line and write down the dis uh, this introduction. So what we would prefer to write in this introduction, I'm writing to request you, let's say regarding the provision of <coughs> palliative care services for Mrs. Harley, just a minute, please. Right. So basically, uh, this will be the introduction. I will rewrite it again for you if it's not clear over here. I can just write down this thing. Sorry, my bad. I am writing to request you regarding. 
Mrs. Harley. Get it here. I'm ready to request you regarding Mr. Harley's palliative care as she has diagnosed as a case of terminal stage of cancer. We can also write it down. In this way, I am writing to request you regarding Ms. Harley's palliative care or else we can write it down. Thank you for accepting our request regarding the arrangement of palliative care services at Mrs. Harley's place. Thank you for accepting uh, our request regarding the arrangement of Ms. Harley's care services at Ms. Harley's place who has been providing diagnosed as a case of terminal stage of cancer, right? So this could be the introduction that we should have in our mind. So you want to ask any question? No, sir. Sorry, sir, you know? I have a question. Yes, please. Should we? We have the body of the letter. In the body of the letter, we can write it down. Uh, let's say Mrs. Harley, who has requested to die beside her family member hence it would be uh, appreciate it if you could arrange your home visits as the patient has developed bed sores or on her let's say right hip in this regard like we are expanding the case if her Pressure sore has to be cessed. If your pressure sore has to be cessed on four hourly basis with the help of new drum dressing. Okay, then we can also write it down. The next one okay, so on four hourly basis with the help of durum dressing, we can write it down this thing. Okay. Uh, and we can also write it down 
in case of pain this टेबल मॉर्फिन ठीक है ये आप उसको लाइक यू कैन राइट डाउन सो यू कैन आल्सो राइट डाउन इन केस ऑफ पेन प्लीज एम से हेड टेबल मॉर्फिन ओके एंड आफ्टरवर्ड वी कैन मूव ऑन टुवर्ड द लेट्स से डाइटरी प्लान सो वी कैन आल्सो राइट डाउन आइदर आवर हेयर और फ्रॉम हेयर एज वेल इन टर्म ऑफ डाइटरी मैनेजमेंट right it she should be given semi solid diet mashed one with more liquids right after word we can write it down uh please note that she is diabetic and allergic to seafood so this plan has to be expanded as i have expanded over here afterward we can write down about the psychological support and how can you write it down we can now write it down in this way yeah. we have to write down let's say mrs harley who has been living with her husband and who has been living with her husband and let's say grandchildren in cupboard in this phase of her life she along with her family needs psychological support right you can write it down this thing over here so afterward you can write it down who is a religious lady of church henceforth it is in her if you can arrange uh postural care from local priest okay then we can write down in view of the above i would appreciate 
if you could pay home visit for the management of or yeah, for the palliative care and at the end you should write down again please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any further queries and yours faithfully in this letter then your title whatever is given